Hi, I'm Jill, part owner of a small grungy dive bar called Mosh Pit in South King Street, Newtown, Sydney. I'm very passionate about music um, from an early age. I'm not a musician. I just love gigs. Been gigging since probably I was 16, so probably a bit underage. Uh, but yeah, in the days, in the, in the late 80s, with every night of the week, you could find a, a gig, and that's what Mosh Pit represents. Really, there is so many gig posters here that you could you, yeah, that tell stories. So the, the, the Hollywood film became a reality that the pandemic was here and. Not only, you, first of all, you think of yourself, you think of your family. We had to make some really hard decisions. We had to stand down our staff. We had to uh, go through all our bookings of the bands and just say, sorry, we, we have to close. Uh, sorry, but everybody was kind of all in the same boat, really. Uh, so then we were sitting in the, in the bar and going, oh my God, what, what are we gonna do? And feeling very vulnerable and we've got bills to pay. So lucky the landlord gave us some assistance. We, we sold all our stock to sell, to, to, to pay bills. And whilst we were brainstorming, I just stopped for a minute and looked around and looked out the, out the door and went, the once thriving South King Street was a ghost town. And it was, I just had to kind of turn back in, a bit of a tear in the eye, and just go, we've got to do something. You know, for, it's, it's not just for the ec economics, it's the, it's the mental health of, the, of everybody that is involved and lives and breathes Mosh Pit and the bands. We ha we've got to do something. And Mosh Pit TV was, was the idea that came up. So yeah, we ran with it. <laughs> we transformed the bar into a, a broadcasting studio and we had to jump in with two feet. Otherwise, we, we would have faced permanent closure. The Mosh Pit is known for its, its great live music experiences and we had, to, we had to hold on to that. What we're really passionate about is keeping you know the soundies. They've got a job now band's got a job now, um, our staff have got a job now, um, we, you know, in collaboration with Zenstream, they've got a, a team of technicians now, he's branched out with other venues. So I think we really are being resilient and, you know, getting on with keeping live music pumping in Australia. Great Southern Nights is a great initiative and it's good timing as well, just before kind of Christmas and spring. People are so used to going to festivals, they can't. So it's great that now New South Wales is gonna have a thousand gigs. I really wanna be part of the re-establishing re the live music scene in Sydney. And I think through Great Southern Nights, I think we're doing it.